What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. We are headed off to another wedding. This is my first wedding in two, three weeks, three weeks. I had three weekends off. Had a couple postponements, but we're back at it. Haven't done a wedding since July 3rd, I believe, and it's now August 7th. So ready to go. I'm ready to do another wedding. We're here in the trailer. I want to show you guys some new stuff. So you haven't seen these yet, but boom. Up lights are missing today. We've got the Astera AX1 pixel tubes. We're running a photo booth. Uh, the J8s. We got my booth here. And then in the truck is the ceremony setup and the JBL EN1. Um, I did rehearsal dinner last night because there was a musician. And actually, so a rehearsal dinner was a little wild. It actually ended up. Uh, getting kind of messed up because of some inclement weather and uh, we had to do rehearsal under the pavilion where reception is going to be and I don't know I'll insert a little clip of the tree that fell over the road that postponed um, rehearsal by like 30 minutes right here. Rehearsal got postponed. Um, or delayed actually by some inclement weather. Tree fell down. It's a little rough. But well, we still made it happen and I'm headed back out there today <clears throat> for reception and ceremony. So I've got Mike coming with me today. I don't know if you guys have met him yet, but he's one of my guys. I brought him on last year for a couple events and then he's got a few things this year for me. Uh, super awesome dude. He's gonna be helping me today. He's pretty good with video, so he's gonna be helping me with some video, some pictures, help me set up, tear down, all that type of stuff. But uh, we're about to get in the truck, get this, uh, get this caravan <laughs> rolling, and get to this wedding. So I'll catch up to you guys when we get to Riverside Receptions in Centerville, Michigan. Sorry for the delay, hair's a little messy. So we ran into a little bit of issue here. Started getting set up and then the power went out. So power was out at the venue, wild. Um, finally have power back on. We're gonna do some generator stuff, long story short. Right as soon as we got it all figured out, power comes back on. So we are all set up here. I'll flip around, show you guys the setup real quick and then we've gotta get started with ceremony. So make this quick. First thing that's new, a stereo tubes you haven't seen. I wanted to show you guys those a little better, but obviously I'll show you packing up maybe. Um, but here's the booth, got the little video going, it's one of the landscape photos, the J8, got the fan of course, back here nothing new besides the Sennheiser. So this is now the, instead of the G4, this is the EWD digital, um, Rain 12, 70 with the skins. Uh, nothing new here, 2015 MacBook, whole pile of backpacks, and uh, we do got some foam sticks tonight, so um, hopefully be swinging some foam sticks around on the dance floor, that's the plan. And then let me walk over here guys, and I'll show you, uh oh, oh, whoa, whoa, he does it all. I do it all. Now over here, we've got photo booth set up. So we've got custom start screen with one of the engagement photos, tap to start. So we've got some of their own props that they provided and they also made this backdrop. So shout out to the bride, Nina. She actually made this. So kudos to her for that. Pretty cool little photo booth setup though. And then ceremony is over here. Let me walk you guys over to the ceremony setup. This is a pretty big one. This is just over 200 people, so it's actually the largest wedding I've done since 2019, except for that one low-key tent wedding that y'all yelled at me about. But other than that, this is the first legal, legal wedding I've done over 200. 
So over here we've got JBL EN1 Pro, and I got my mic rack set up. And then it's, it's Brent, correct? Brent. Brent. We've got Brent over here on the keyboard. He's gonna be playing some prelude music, and also all the ceremony songs except for recessional, so no pressure. <laughs> uh, and then down, down at the ceremony site, we've just got one of the uh, G4 handhelds and a whole lot of chairs. 3,000 years later. All right, guys, at this time, I'm gonna get started introducing our wedding party. But first, I'd just like to say good evening and welcome to the wedding celebration of Nina and Matt. There we go. My name is Logan. I'll be your entertainer for the evening. I do have one more question, though. Are you guys ready to party with our newlyweds? I see a lot of white claw getting spilled, and I love it. Let me tell you, I love it. I would like to take just a second here to acknowledge our parents. First up, we have Amy and Dan. Amy and Dan, can we give it a round of applause for Amy and Dan, that's Matt's parents. And then Ray and Lynn, that's oh, Nina's parents. Let's give them a round of applause as well. And now I'd like to start introducing our wedding party, starting with our bridesmaids and our groomsmen. First up, we have Antonio and Pat. Followed by Joey and Allison. Next up, we have Travis and Jessica. Followed up by Brian and Becca. Next up, we have Kevin and Dave. Followed by Matt and Cassandra. Next up, we have Echo and Danny. Now we have our VIPs of the evening. Make some noise for our maid of honor and our best man, Mia and John. All right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Give it up. It's my honor to introduce to you the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Christ. guys focus 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 there it is all right well what you just saw was introductions things got really 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 weird right after introductions um well not right after we got into dinner um dinner went okay you know just dinner music whatever not a big deal and we get to the cake cutting so long story short the speeches took a really long time so the, the father of the bride's speech was about 20 minutes. Um, the best man's speech was pretty short, but then the uh, maid of honor, which was the sister of the bride, hers was also pretty long. And it kind of delayed some things. So by the time we got to the cake cutting, uh, the photographers were only scheduled to be there till seven. And the photographers were really difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Um, they said some rude things to some of the other vendors, the planner, the couple wasn't really very happy with them. Um, from the get-go but anyway we get to cake cutting and as we're doing cake cutting they started asking the couple to do things that they didn't really want to do so uh, the bride told them basically that they could leave <laughs> and um, we hadn't done first dance or anything like that yet so father of the groom comes over just trying to figure out what's going on it's kind of a little chaotic situation and for one the photographers we're trying to get them to pay extra for them to stay for the dances, even though the dances were only going to take about 15 minutes. They wanted them to pay for another hour of service. Long story short, um, father of the groom ends up kicking the photographers out of the venue. So luckily I had Mike with me. So Mike took a lot of pictures while we were there. So we ended up giving the couple their photos, which was super nice of Mike uh, to take all those pictures and do some editing on them um shut up cat man freaking cat but shut up jeez but anyway guys let's get back into the gig log i got some clips of some dancing for you um and then we'll jump back on at the end here and just kind of recap the whole event so let's go <laughs>
guys, one more time, real quick. If you love Nina and you love Matt, make some noise! Thank you. Alright, so I will try to make this recap as quickly as possible. Bear with me. Sorry about the messy desk. So actually, fun fact, my uh, 2019 MacBook Pro took a crap. So now I'm using my backup laptop, uh, my backup DJ laptop to edit video, which this thing is just screaming right now. But besides the point, 2019 MacBook, took a poop. I uh, bought a M1 Mac Mini, decked it out, that's on the way. So, new editing machine. But anyway, back to the recap. Um, this couple had it rough, man. Like, the night before, with rehearsal and the weather and all that stuff, that sucked. The rain was bad. The day of, I'm getting there, I'm setting up, it's super hot, super humid. Um, an hour before ceremony starts, the power goes out, guys. The power goes out. The power was on when I got there. Power goes out, we're trying to set up. That was scary. Um, luckily, I could have at least done ceremony without without uh, power. Um, I had We had a backup plan figured out, whatever. So we had that going, but the downside would have been none of the waterfalls or the fountains or anything around the property would have been working, which suck because that's a huge aesthetic but anyway we uh made it happen power came back on everything was good to go until the issues with the photographer so those guys man um do your homework on vendors guys i you know I, i'm sure these this couple did but i don't know where they found them maybe they had good reviews on the specific site that they used but these guys were not good i'm not gonna list their names or anything like that but not good and they're also i found out they're not giving the couple their pictures so they've been completely ignoring the bride she's been trying to reach out to them so bad juju on that uh that photographer company recap overall event was it was a 10 i mean the dancing was awesome it was hot yes but the group themselves 10 they were awesome they danced their butts off they used the photo booth a ton the astera lights were badass that venue is super cool even though it's outside i don't like outside venues but that place is that's sweet for just to be in a pavilion um these guys danced their butts off i was playing music that i don't normally play at weddings that they were just they reacted to very well um, a lot of the footage or a lot I didn't have the camera running for a lot of it because I had the GoPro up on the uh, wall and I kept forgetting to hit record so a lot of those clips were just like right towards the end but they actually had four hours of open dancing and they pretty much danced the whole dang time so um, if you missed that watch my Instagram story so it's in the highlights of the Lux Entertainment Instagram page but alright guys I won't bore you any longer um, I'm actually gonna try to bust out another gig log because this one was a couple weeks ago and my computer died and I was waiting on a new one and it hasn't showed up yet so long story short trying to catch up on, up on some gig logs. If you're new around here, please subscribe, click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications on my upcoming videos. I'll catch up with the next one. Peace. Yeah.